Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Judy Tyson. Nice to see you coming on on the feed. That's awesome. Carolyn, nice to see you coming on the feed there. Larry, my closest, dearest friend, thank you for coming on. Our shields are linked. Well, good morning, everybody. We're on uh, day, we're on the 40 day worship challenge and we're on day number 15. That's amazing. We're already um, over a third of the way through the 40 day worship challenge and it's amazing how fast 40 days goes by. We'll be amazed, we'll be, suddenly we'll be finished and yet we're on day 15 and so we wanna take one day at a time and, and this is so exciting and I wanna encourage us, our shields are linked and I always have my together mug with me and, and a little bit of coffee and it's time that we can just uh, link shields and encourage each other. I wanted you to encourage you to find someone to link shields with, to have devotions with. All you have to do in the morning is just text good morning and that lets someone else know you're in devotions and then they can text you back when they're in devotions good morning and it's just a, a little bit of encouragement maybe a little bit of accountability, maybe a little bit of truth there if we pass a scripture on uh, to the other person. And it provides just a sense of uh, togetherness, sense of uh, encouragement, maybe even some comfort, knowing that somebody else is out there. I was thinking of Jesus in Mark 135, where he went away before daybreak to be with his father. He went away to pray. He went away to find a quiet, solitary place. That's what we're doing. We're modeling our life after our Lord Jesus, that, that while he was on the earth, he was finding places to go to be with his father, a quiet place. And he found that if he got up before the sun rose, if he got up before the disciples were awake, if he got up before he could be bothered, then he could go out into a quiet place and have a time with his father and, and receive a uh, whatever was needed for that day through fellowship. And that's what we're desiring is, is fellowship. So I want to encourage you to link shields with somebody out there. Uh, let's, let's just uh, call it Sunrise Fellowship, S-O-N-R-I-S-E Fellowship. And before daybreak, we're meeting with the Lord and we're encouraging each other. There's a, there's a powerful scripture in 1 Thessalonians 5.11. It says, so encourage each other and build each other up just as you are already doing. Let's let Sunrise Fellowship, uh, a good morning, a scripture, a, th uh, a thought, keep it light, keep it simple, keep it just encouraging. And, and, and that can be a strength to somebody else. We've been talking about five roots and sending our roots, thinking these five as, a, as roots going down into the soil in Ephesians 3.16, it tells us, into the soil of God's love. And we want uh, those five roots to be growing down deep into his love. We talked about the roots being surrender, trust, humility, faith, and today we're gonna talk about Thanksgiving. So just a couple of thoughts on Thanksgiving for this morning. Colossians 3.15 says, and let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, you are called to live in peace. And then it says, and always be thankful. Wow, there's such power in thankfulness. It's such a powerful root that can go down into God's love. And, and so we, we want to exercise, we want to choose thankfulness over anything else so that we can allow God to do something deep inside of us during this morning time. First Thessalonians 5, 16, and 7, or 16 to 18 says, always be joyful, never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances. I'm thinking, wow, he bundles together, joyful. He bundles together, never stop praying. And he bundles together thankfulness, all into one package there. And then he says, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. And I, I think that no better way than to start our morning with thankfulness. And I wanted to, to give three thoughts, just three things to start our day, three foundations for thankfulness. 
that we can start no matter no matter what day it is, no matter what the weather around our tree is. And believe me, the weather patterns around our tree can get sometimes very intense. But these are three foundational things we can be thankful for. And the first is the Father's love, our Heavenly Father's love, for God so loved the world. And, and that's the first thing when we get up in the morning that we can be grateful for, is that we can experience that day the Father's love. Now, how can we do that? It's because of Jesus and his sacrifice and what he did on the cross that allows us to come in boldly into his presence. And so right off the bat in the morning, we can just be thankful for what Jesus did, his death, his burial, his resurrection. We can just, just start to get excited about what he did for us, what Jesus did. And, and, and then we can be thankful for the Holy Spirit. And I put down here, for guiding us. He's the light at our feet. The word of God is the light at our feet. The Holy Spirit brings illumination to that. And, and, and it's really the Holy Spirit that reveals all this to us anyway. And so we can thank the Holy Spirit for even revealing the Father's love and even revealing that Jesus, what he did for us and what it means to us. And and I, I want to encourage us to... to uh, uh, write a little surrender prayer as we kind of finish up these roots and, and uh, use these three things we're thankful for as a foundation to a surrender prayer. I wrote one out years ago and I keep adding to it and it, it, it almost takes 12 minutes to read through it, but just putting down the things that you're thankful for can, can begin to do something deep inside of us each morning that will transform the way we view that day. And so be encouraged. This gives us reason to celebrate every morning because we could just be thankful for those. And, and again, like we said, no matter what the weather pattern around the tree is, we can, we can grow that root of thankfulness. Remember, roots bring stability. They absorb out of the ground the nutrients and the water. They conduct that, 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 that flow up into the tree and also they store nutrients and water for those seasons where there's a bit of a drought and and it's the root system that will keep us strong the bible says as we grow it down into his love and so this is so exciting now what does thankfulness defeat <laughs> thankfulness defeats comparison Com comparisons like a disease it 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 causes us to become it leads us to discontentment and then that can lead us to grumbling and complaining. So if you find yourself grumbling or complaining, stop and let's just be thankful. Ask God to forgive us for any grumbling or complaining, anything coming out of our mouth that's not thankful and let us return right back to thankfulness. And then if we find ourselves inside kind of stirred up with discontentment and we identify it there, repent of that and just turn from it and go right back to thankfulness. Or if you find your mind comparing yourself to others and it's starting to discourage you, just repent of that and come back to thankfulness. Remember, I always remember these roots are a choice. Thankfulness is a choice. And so, and sometimes when the weather gets so intense, it's, it's difficult to make that choice. That's why sunrise fellowship, that's why getting up and meeting with the Lord, that's why a good morning to somebody else can, can change the trajectory of our day. It can literally change the attitude within us and the thought patterns in us by, by God activating the love center incredible things can begin to come forth. You know, I always say if you're struggling with thankfulness, just, I, this is kind of funny, but I just say, hold your breath. And then when you gasp for air, then just be thankful for the air. And that will start a flow of thankfulness. And so I want to encourage us every time we breathe in, let that be the breath of God in us, reminding us to be thankful for what we have and the air we breathe and everything around us. Uh, I want to, uh, thankfulness produces amazing fruits in our life. I just want us to remember roots before fruits. 
Let us grow down these roots, this root of surrender, trust, humility, faith, and thanksgiving into the soil of his love. A simple prayer. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for loving me and caring for me. Jesus, thank you for your sacrifice in making a way for me. And thank you, Holy Spirit, for revealing God's heart to me and leading me today. Gratefulness produces a sweet spirit. Let me read something out of our devotional today, out of day 15. It's Psalms 34, 8 to 10, and Psalms, uh, and Psalms 34, 19. It's beautiful. Taste and see the Lord is good. Oh, the joys of those who take refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his godly people, for those who fear him will have all they need. Even strong young lions sometimes go hungry, but those who trust in the Lord will lack no good thing. The righteous person faces many troubles, that's the weather, but the Lord comes to rescue him each time. That's our root system in his love. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for this day. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your care. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for the air we breathe. We thank you for taking care of us. We thank you, Lord, for the circumstances, situations we're facing. We, we choose thankfulness today to thank you, Lord, Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your sacrifice. Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for leading us. We give you all the glory today. We want, Lord, in our hearts to be thankful. We praise you today. We honor you in Jesus' name. And everyone said, amen. Well, it's been great to be together this morning. I just want this to be a primer to your time alone with him. Enjoy his presence uh, have an amazing day and of course, see you tomorrow. God bless.